Hey guys, take a look at the video. If you guys are in today's video, I'm going to show you how to turn on private browsing with the lock on iOS 17. So one of the newer features on iOS 17 is that now if you're on private browsing on Safari, you can actually lock it with your face ID or touch ID. So let's show you how that's done. So in order to start a private browsing session on Safari is once you open up a Safari here, what it'll do is click on these uh, squares here and then you'll see here there's an option for private browsing and it tells you how the private browsing will work in order to lock those browsing so that it only unlocks for you whenever you have face ID on or touch ID on. So you're going to get this, you can hit continue here and after that you can start like a private session here on browsing right. Let's say I'm navigating to one of the sites here and then what you want to do is go into your settings right and then you want to make sure your face ID and passcode is set up as well so that it works correctly. So if you haven't set that up, make sure you turn on your face ID on or with the passcode as well. And then after you have done that, in the settings again, we're going to go ahead into the Safari setting itself. And under Safari settings right here, well, you'll notice here there's options to now require face ID to unlock private browsing. As you can see, by default, it's turned off here. We want to turn it on so that when we do open our bri private browsing uh, tabs, it will ask for our face ID, as you can see here right now. So I'll show you, let's say I'm on the regular one, right? And I'm going to try to cover up the face ID thing, and I'm going to go to the private one here. As you can see here, private is locked. And in order to unlock, when I look, uncover that my face ID just worked and now those are unlock here which is pretty cool again just show you how that's done once you turn that on it'll be locked if you're not using face ID and then it, once it sees a face ID it will unlock it so that's how you use private browsing on iOS 17 so if you haven't updated the phone go ahead into your settings and then once you go into your settings general software update you can update to ios 17 remember you need an iphone se second generation or later in order to get ios 17 the only phone that iphone the iphone 10 r 10s and 10x max anything newer will work iphone 10 unfortunately didn't get this update anything older than won't be able to get this update you won't be able to use it but that's how private browsing work i hope this video was helpful if so please make sure to like and subscribe button thanks for watching guys see you guys next time